Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Here's the setup. I'm going to put all the part numbers in the description. Uh, this is basically a rough how-to video. First you want to loosen that clamp. Uh, then you want to remove the nut on the rear transmission mount. Make sure you hold the transmission in place before you take that, that beam out. Then you want to remove all the nuts for the white pipe. You can add some penetrant to it, some lube to it. Uh, PB Blaster works good. Uh, make sure you get all six nuts. Disconnect and, and or remove the O2 sensors. Make sure you don't misplace them, I guess. Put them, don't put them in the wrong spot because you'll get codes later on. Uh, yeah, just make sure you get all of them. Sometimes the studs will come out with the nut. That's okay, too. Now, here's the setup. Uh, I got everything for a fairly decent price, about 600 bucks. Well, everything except the ARP exhaust manifold bolts. And I ended up selling the old cats for about 300 bucks, so I was only in about $300. There we have the old Y-pipe out. Uh, next, you want to remove the wheels, both wheels in the front. Remove all the screws for the inner wheel liner and remove both wheel liners so you can gain, uh, get a better access to the exhaust manifold. Here I am removing the passenger side. Just pull it out once you got all the bolts out. Okay, now we can remove the spark plug wires. Just use some needle nose pliers remove all those exhaust manifold bolts Be careful not to hit the spark plugs now when you put the new exhaust manifold in it's kind of best to have one person on the bottom and one person on top on the driver's side you have to remove the oiled uh, dipstick tube it has a torx right there right in that little little stud or not stud, but that little, a little bright right there, right there. So you want to take that off. Make sure you get the plug wires off from that side too. And when you remove the bolts, just make sure you don't hit any of the spark plugs. Here we have the new or new to me long tube header in with the bolts. You also just want to start each of the exhaust manifold bolts that way they all go in and you're not struggling there's the back one that you have to use a wrench on because nothing fits on it RIP headphone users here we have the o2 sensors connected this is how i set mine up use some zip ties um the harness extension i had to use for the rear uh, o2 sensor and i ran it through the top of the transmission like i said it's kind of a rough how-to video um uh, have the white pipe already assembled. If you do end up getting a white pipe like this, this white pipe or something similar, make sure you put everything like in loose. Don't tighten any clamps or anything so you can adjust it. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but here's how I set up the, the wiring. Now, that wire right there on your right I ended up putting some heat shield on it because it was basically touching the manifold and it kind of burned it up. I fixed it. We have everything kind of in place, back together. The wheel liners back in, all the bolts in place. There's a tab 
that has to go behind the fender and it's right there that has to sit inside on both sides the driver and the passenger so you just put everything back put your wheels on make sure you torque your wheels I'm not sure on the torque spec I think it's like 150.